Hey there and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to make some beautiful bliss balls or energy balls. Um, the first ones are carrot cake flavor. Start off by blending some oats and nuts. I like to use pecan nuts but you can use walnuts or any kind of nuts. Some grated carrots, a pinch of cinnamon and about 100 grams of pitted dates coconut oil, a few drops of orange flavor essential oil and some desiccated coconut which I almost forgot here and I've just roasted that in the oven briefly but you don't have to I think it tastes better that way just blend everything together in your food processor until you have a kind of a, a paste that you can press between your fingers if it's too dry you can always add a few drops of water until you get the right consistency and then just roll them into balls, bite-sized pieces. Now I'm going to make some sesame bites, um, again starting with some oats and here I've used dates but actually figs go really well with this recipe too. Some sesame seeds black seed which is ground, three tablespoons of tahini or sesame paste, and here I'm using a little bit of ginger essential oil to give a lovely kick, and a pinch of salt. So again just blend them like before and roll them into balls and this recipe can get a little bit um, sticky so an, other, an alternative would be to just roll out the mixture between two pieces of parchment paper and make bars rather than balls so that you don't get your, your fingers all sticky and here I'm just rolling them in some extra sesame seeds which I think looks really nice. Okay, the final one are called my Snickers Bites. These are absolutely gorgeous. So just take any kind of nuts you have. You could use peanuts, um, but here I just took a blend of, of different nuts and about 150 gram of pitted dates again. A little bit of vanilla extract, a pinch of salt. Then a heaped tablespoon of raw cacao powder to give a nice chocolate kick and just two tablespoons of peanut butter. Super easy and really really yummy. So these are just three ideas but you can literally flavor these balls or bites any way you want to. I make them about once a week at home so that I always have a snack rather than reaching out for, for sugary stuff. I love to keep them stocked in the fridge. And here's the final. So enjoy and let me know if you make any of these wonderful recipes and which one you prefer.